Hi everybody. In this video, I want to demo our new feature that lets you base your booking availability based on how many teams you have available at any given time. To start, if you want to use this feature, you have to go to your uh, general settings page and enable it. So here I am, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. You'll see a schedule availability mode and you want to choose the one that says based on team availability and then just save your changes. So now I'm going to go to my spot settings page, click on booking spots. And as an example, I want to look at Friday, uh, April 7th. You can see here at 2.30 that I have zero teams that are free. And if you want to see who's available, you can click on the available tab. And um, the ones that are available at this time are going to be in green. The ones that are red are not. And um, you can see what, what their shifts are. Everybody here is 8 to 5. Now, I want to show you what that looks like on the booking form real quick. So here I am on the booking form, and you can see that April 7th for, for um, 2.30, I don't have any available spots. So I'm going to go back to my settings and show you how you can actually make a spot available. So here I am. If I wanted to make uh, one spot available, meaning a team, I can just click that this guy is available, Batman. And you see that his shift gets set to the, um, to the time slot. Just click Save Changes. You can see now that I have a free team. Um, if you go back to your form, and uh, let me change it up right here. Now you can see that uh, I have a spot available at 2.30, right? So let's go back to the settings and I'll explain more about what each means real quick. Okay, so here we show you how many teams you have free, how many are, are available total that day, and how many you, you're going to need based on your jobs. If you click on the, the needed link, you'll see that I, even though I have, um, say, five or six teams, I only have three jobs that day. And the reason why it says that only one team is free is because I have, um, so I have two jobs at 2.30, right? I have, but I have two teams assigned to one of them and one team assigned to another. That's three teams down. And then I have another two teams that were assigned to a job that was at 1.30. So they won't be available um, by the time 2.30 rolls around. So that means um, one, two, three, four, five. So I have five teams that are needed, but I have six teams working that day, right? Because I just added um, Batman earlier. So um, if I were to schedule Batman, you will see that this number will decrease. And I'm going to show you that right now in our scheduler. So here I am on the scheduler. And you can see that um, Batman, he has a time that's set in green the background, which means that he's available. But you can see with these colored boxes that he doesn't have any actual bookings. So what I can do is I can pair him up with um, Team Anna, right? I click this booking here and I can assign him to, um, to work with Anna. So now um, Batman is assigned, then I'll go back to my uh, spot settings and you'll see that there are no teams free. Here I am back on the spot settings page. If I just refresh right here, you see now that it says zero teams free. And if I click on um, how many teams are needed, you see that Batman and Anna are working together. That's two teams here, two teams here, two teams here. That's six that are all occupied. Um, and if I go back to my scheduler real quick, now, if I wanted to, I can remove Batman from this. And um, if I wanted to, if I had a job here for 2.30, which I don't, but if this one, if this guy was for 2.30 and I signed it over, you'll see that it'll also count as a, um, an availability spot gets taken up. So um, the availability is based completely on your, your um, how many teams, you have and how many you have that are not assigned to any other bookings at the time. 
because uh, some people want to put more than one team on a booking or others just prefer one. So um, it's really whatever you prefer. And um, that's about it. If you have any more questions or um, feedback for us, please let us know at support at launch27.com. Thanks.